Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to teach you how to crochet this lovely rug. <laughs> yes, it's handmade. I am so proud of myself. Okay, I did release another tutorial a couple of months ago. I will put the link below. So while I was working on that, I wanted to, that one was going slowly, but I love that, that, that to the, how to crochet that rug. I will show you in a minute. But this one, it goes fast. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to create something that goes faster than what I was working on. So I created this. I don't know if this stitch is out there, but if it's out there, I just wanted to share it with you guys because I haven't seen it anywhere. And um, it turned out pretty good. Okay, and the yarn that I use is 100% cotton. The kitchen cotton, yes! Everyone complains about the kitchen cotton. You can make rugs out of them. Okay, so I just put it on my uh, soaking tub here just to show you how it looks like. I haven't put it, put it, put it on the floor. I might sell it, I'm, I'm not sure. But um, I didn't want to put it on the floor. No matter how clean it is, I'm very picky with this stuff. So I'll just grab this and I will do the measurements and I will show you the yarn that I have used. Okay, this is how it looks like. And, uh, oops, sorry about that. And when you hold it, see, this is what I'm looking for. Like you can see, you can see it's, it's like a rug carpet. See, can you see it? This is what I'm looking for. And this is the back of the work. That's how it looks like. I don't know if you can make a baby blanket, but I think for a rug it is wonderful. And you can use up your kitchen, your um, kitchen uh, cottons that you have in your stash. So I'll just grab and I'll just measurement and I'll show you. Okay, so I just laid this on top of my bed. It's nice and clean. Okay, so the yarn that I have used, remember I did a review on uh, Yarn Canada. I bought Mill Ends yarn, 100% cotton. So uh, that yarn was the same. I bought two, two bags, yeah, two bags. So I just finished the fifth ball and I'm going to start on the sixth. So just imagine, so I'm just going to use up all the, one, um, so one bag is one pound, so two bag is two pound. So I'm going to use up all of the two pound and I'll just give you the measurement how it works out. Okay, so I cast on, I, I did the chainless foundation chain, the Double, double crochet method and I will put the link below. I will show it to you as well So I don't think I will put it put the link below, but I do have tutorials. I have done it years ago just to point that out Okay, so I think I cast on 70 70 well not cast on I crocheted the foundation about 70 double crochets 70 like this so I have 70 double crochets go back and forth and that is approximately, when you measure it, it is uh, 50, 59 inches, so just over, I'm sorry, 23, 23 inches, so 58, 59 centimeter, if you do 70, double crochet. And I used up the five balls of yarn, so I'm going to start on the six. So the how long it is, it is 38 inches long and 38 is 97 centimeter, just about a meter. So if I use up the six ball, it's going to be over a meter. Yeah. Doesn't this look nice? I don't know. <laughs> I just love it how it turned out. I got so excited. I said, I need to share this with my subscribers. Remember this tutorial I did? See how, how this is very thick. As you can see, it's like store-bought, this one. But this one goes faster and it looks bigger. Can you see the difference? That's what I wanted to share. I'm still working on this. It takes time. And it looks like I have started, 
see how uh oh wow look look how long it's how long it's wide that's why it's taking me forever to crochet this well i'm gonna use up all of the yarn so i have lots of gray yarn oh my goodness this looks nice doesn't it yeah i don't know i just wanted to show you a new version of how it goes fast compared to this one as this one is wonderful as well as you can see I will put the link on how to crochet this but I, I chained it's too wide for a but it will turn out perfect anyways let's go back to this uh, lovely um, rug that I will show you how to crochet so today I'm gonna use this yarn I'm thinking of making it this for my uh, laundry room because uh, the one that I bought over 10 years ago from Ikea I have that one it's a blue rug so I'll put this uh, in my laundry room so uh, I don't wanna just need to measure the rug that I have there so I will start we will start to crochet this lovely uh, lovely rug with you guys if you, have, if you have any comments please do uh, put them below okay I just wanted to show you how how rich it looks just one thing to point out, I, I will show you when I started, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, I started from here. Okay. Can you see? Let me see if I can. From the back, it's easier to see. On the front, you can't see anything. And then you can sew up those... Uh, protections that you, I don't think these will slide but yeah you can either put some silicone like use your get your silicone gun and then heat it up and just put some dots so it won't slide or you can sew up underneath those protection I don't I'm not gonna put it on hardwood floor so I, I'm not gonna worry about that but uh, other than this, I just wanted to show you. Okay, can you see? It's really hard to see, but I... See, um, this, it, it looks like it's going this way. And then this, it's going this way. I figured this uh, stitch is wonderful to work with, but the thing is, you have to figure out, and then I try to fix it. Can you see it? It's really hard to see, but I can see it because I made it. <laughs> Uh, you just play around with it and I will show you tricks how to do that okay and then it goes straight all the way up as you can see I figured it out or if I can fold it yeah well this if you make mistakes this is perfect for new beginners like if you're learning how to crochet just grab your crochet hook grab your kitchen cotton that you have in your home or Go and buy them because they're not expensive. Like these go for seven fifty at Michael. They go on sale. You can use the fifty five percent coupon they sent. I bu I bought this for eight ninety nine at Yarn Canada. It's Canadian dollars though, and uh, it's a four weight. It's a four weight yarn, and this is Coral Seas Umbery that I'm using. But you can buy the same yarn at Walmart, Michaels, any um, store that sells yarn. Not the local yarn shops. I don't think they sell this kind of yarn. So uh, this is the yarn that I have used. And it's nice. It's It looks fantastic. I don't know. I just wanted to share it. So let's get started. I'm going forever because I'm, I'm in love with this rug. <laughs> I want to make I want to make burgundy I have lots of burgundy yarn I want to make so many different colors like uh, even for babies room like if you're a new beginner I would highly recommend because it doesn't show your mistakes at all it just erases it yeah so let's get started grab your desired yarn it doesn't have to be cotton I am using cotton because I bought the cotton and I didn't know what to do with it so I thought to myself, make rugs. 
Yeah, and uh, it can be any yarn that you have in your home. You can use it up or you can go buy if you want to. So let's get started. Grab your yarn and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here is a closer look of the rug that I have been crocheting. Um, since I have uh, bought the yarn from Yarn Canada. Well, not since. It's just a... Uh, yeah, matter of time to time I figure it out because I was still working. I have so many whips going on, so uh Okay, I just wanted to start the six. I just went and measured my laundry room, so it looks like I need to start with the same. I don't think I will have enough because I only bought one ball. I just wanted to see the color because you don't know what you're gonna get right. It's these uh mill ends uh, yarn that we buy right so we never know okay. I just wanted to show you something did, did you see what I just did okay when you pull it sometimes it doesn't work so what I do is I go one and I go two and then I tie it to do the knot okay. see it's, oh I, I think I pulled too much. Oh my goodness. Wow. Even we with my weak <laughs> wrist. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's try it again. Don't pull it that hard. Okay. So one, two. Then don't pull it hard as I said I did. Yeah. And then you will see it won't come off. And then I try to uh, weave these two while I crochet. Okay, let's go back to our um, to our tutorial. Okay, I'm going to use variegated yarn. I'm sure you can see lots of uh, uh, teachers like me. They don't do it, but sometimes I do it. This way you can see how it's done on variegated yarn so these balls are pretty big so i guess they were trying to make big balls you know those have uh, one pound uh, balls that they sell for 14.99 here in canada or i think at 11.99 or 12.99 in walmart and then they they made a mistake and that's how they've been selling these just to point that out and they're not that cheap i was comparing because uh, at uh, Michael's I bought for $7.99. And I try to pull it from the inside. It comes out easily. Okay, let me just put this here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I am going to use a 4.5 crochet hook, which I was using on this rug. I feel more comfortable when I'm using 4.5 uh, crochet hook. Uh, with the kitchen cotton the four weight I feel comfortable using this if you're comfortable using different crochet hook you are welcome to use it like I'm not telling you what to use just feel what you're comfortable with there's no rules just feel what you're comfortable with and for new beginners I get lots of comments I try to crochet as slow as I can I do apologize but uh, that's how I am I've been doing this for decades and it's really hard to show but I would highly recommend this uh, stitch for new beginners because it hides you can't see anything like if you drop a ring you can't find it it's it's hidden <laughs> it's those rugs that you buy oh my goodness I couldn't believe it when I found out an easier way okay for the so I'm not gonna chain I would highly recommend you to learn this. It's very easy. Lots of people ask me how many do you chain. If you want to chain, just chain 70 and then go from there. But I would highly recommend this because it doesn't pull when you're crocheting on top. Okay, so I did three chain. Okay, I'm going to pull this. And I'm going to go yarn over. And on the first one that I did, just like this, on the first one, I grab the, can you see the V? 
yeah, I grab that V and I pull it. Try not to make that first chain tight. So I pull one, okay, and then I pull two together, and I pull two together, and this is all to it. So I just repeat this. So I go yarn over, and then I go to that V right here, grab those two, uh, two uh, Vs here, the, the V that you see, and I pull that one, and I pull two. And I pull two, okay, and then again yarn over, and I repeat this, okay, I pull, and I pull two, and I pull two, and I repeat this one after another, and try to pull it as loose as you can, because you, you want this to stretch, just like this, so yarn over, and then come back. Pull one, pull two, pull two. Okay, and this is what you will have. If you look at it, and this is what you will have. Let me just show you. So this is what I am making. I am making this row. Well, the thing is, this stitch is made out of two rows only. So you only double crochet and then you do these uh, poofity poof poofs. <laughs> the chains here. And then that would be the second row. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this about 70 times. So when I have the 70, that's what I need on my uh, in my laundry room. I looked at it, I measured it. I wanted something colorful because when you're doing laundry, you, you wash white, you wash black laundry, you wash colorful. And then it gives you that nice feeling, right? So I wanted to have something colorful. I have that Ikea rug, that cut and kill him that I bought years ago when, when I first saw it. It's over 10 years for sure. 99, I believe I bought it. It's been there, so I'll just throw that in the basement where the furnace room is. I have small rugs there that I just throw over there. And this is how it looks like. And I will put this new rug there. <laughs> and I will continue crocheting like this until I get I reach my destination, which is 70. I measured. And you are welcome to crochet as long as you want. You don't have to do 70, you can do 20. If you want to do a dishcloth, you can do 20. It's up to you. You don't have to do a rug. You can make anything with this stitch. It's just that I thought, my goodness, I'm copying the rug, carpet rug. <laughs> and then the color, I fell in love with it, so I thought that would be perfect. Okay, so I'm not. I'm going to stop mumbling, and I will uh, crochet the length I want, and I will come back to show you the second row. Okay, so I have crocheted about 70, and this is how it looks like. Okay. So, here I'm going to chain. Either you can chain, on this one I chained 7. Um, either you can chain 5 or 3. It depends on how uh, tall you want your uh, chains to go up. But this for this one I'm going to chain 5, just to see the difference. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And I'm going to turn my work on the first here. I'm going to just like a, doing like a front post. I'm going to make a single crochet just like this. And then again, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go to the next double crochet here. And then from the, from the back, Front post is it? I think it's a front post. Back post is. Hmm. Get confused. So I just hold it like this, and then I grab it and I do a single crochet, and I chain one. I have to be careful. These yarn does split. I never checked how many there are in here. 
Let's see how many ply. So one, two, three, four ply. So one, two, three, four, five, and I go to the next, next double crochet, and I do a single crochet. So I repeat this three, four, five, all the way, and I go I grab it like this. This is the trick <laughs> to make this rug. One, two, three, four, five, and I hold it like this, just like this, and I make a single crochet. And this is how it looks like when you hold it. See? I think you can see it clearly instead of the plain color that I did. It's like you, you, you if you're like I said, if a ring or if you, if uh, if your earring fells, you can't find it. It just it's really hard. But here you can see, you can see. I'm happy that I used a variegated yarn. You can see the double crochets, and you can see the second row how it looks like. See how it looks? And then you just repeat this all the way to the end. So I will let you crochet and I will come back to show you how to start the uh, double crochet on the next row. So like I said, you can crochet, chain three, five, seven, or if you want it taller, nine, 10, 11, it doesn't have to be an odd number. Just use your imagination and then go from it. I'm just showing you how it's done it's very easy and it's very simple and it's fun it goes fast three four five and then go on so I'll meet you at starting the next row okay so I'm at the end I did my five chain so I'm gonna do my last single crochet here And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to chain my work. Okay. Now, here, I'm going to make my double crochet right here where the double crochet is. And then from, at, from now on, you need to count. I have 70 when I started. You should have 70 double crochets. When you're making your double crochets, don't that's what I'm trying to show you on the on my rug that I I did went sideways and uh, it did it increase because of the stitch for some reason it happens so always count your double crochets you should have 70 if you have less that's a problem you shouldn't have less but it does increase you like this one I started with 70 and then I think I had 73 right now I have 73 on top so it does increase so just be careful not to have it increase if it increases, you can't even see it it's not it's like can't even see it this is how it looks like I think I really like the variegated how to crochet it with the variegated so this is all you do on this row you just do double crochets on each uh, double crochet that you see and this is how it's done it's done in two rows you do double crochet and you do the chain on the next just like this and this is how it looks like so I will let you crochet on each double crochet that you see and I will meet you at the end and we will start the next row on how to uh, how to do the next row and don't forget count count your double crochets you should have seven it's starting like one two three like that don't count this chain count these double crochets okay so I am back where I came from so I did one double crochet and I'm doing my last okay just like this and this is how it looks like this is the three chain that we did this is the back of the work and this is the front of the work okay I just counted and I have 69 but I need 70 that's the trick this is what you do okay if you have 69 then you need to make another one so I'm just gonna go here like this and then make a double crochet and if you have uh, 70 then don't make it if you have like you need to play around so you have that nice edge but like I said this stitch <laughs> is a forgivable it, it 
just you, you won't see any mistakes okay so I from here I'm going to chain five so one two three four five like I said you can chain eight you can chain six as long as you want I'm, I just want this one a little bit shorter than the other one I just wanted to see the difference so here we're going to make uh, what we did on the previous not the f past uh, double crochet but on the previous so on the first here I am going to make a single crochet just like this and then chain five again one two three four five you uh, this is how I hold it you can hold it differently like you go between the double crochet from the back it's, and then you grab it back post and then you'd make a single crochet so one two three four five and you repeat these two rows the length you wanted and uh, it's great for using up yarn you can make anything with this stitch and I just love the texture I, I love how it looks like doesn't it look nice it looks like a rug yeah, uh, three, four, five, and you just repeat this all the way, uh, all the way to the end, and then you, the next row you do uh, the double crochet. So it's double crochet and chains. This is how you create this lovely uh, uh, stitch, and you make a rug out of it. You can make dishcloth. You can make baby blankets. You can use fleece yarn. You know those eyelashes yarn. Eyelashes. I think that would be kind of hard to crochet with this, but uh. Like I'm making this um, this cardigan using this yarn. You can use these yarn. This would be nice and soft for a rug, for a baby blanket if you have plain colors. Like you can create anything you want with this. You can use wool. You can make a wool blanket or a wool throw. Anything. Like use your imagination and then create what you want. It's uh, It's great for a stash buster if you have lots of yarn like I do and then uh, yeah you can make a cowl this would be great for a cowl yeah even a hat hmm <laughs> use your imagination yeah it goes on and on that's like there's so many things to create I hope you like this tutorial I just wanted to share my excitement how to create a carpet rug using the stitch but it doesn't have to be a carpet rug it can be anything you want to make so I hope you like this tutorial if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy crocheting